Welcome to this spirit animal guided meditation. Find a quiet space where you won't be disturbed and make yourself comfortable either sitting in a chair or lying down on a bed and gently close your eyes. Adjust your arms so that they rest lightly either in your lap or down by your sides. Begin by taking a long slow breath in and out and feel your lungs fill with fresh life-giving air. As you slowly breathe in and out, notice how your chest, diaphragm and stomach rise and fall as you gently inhale and exhale. Take two or three long, slow breaths in and out, in and out, in and out. Send your breath to any areas of your body that might feel tense at this time with the intention of relaxing those parts as you exhale. Send your breath all the way down to your feet as they rest in contact with the floor if you are sitting in a chair or the bed if you are lying down. Relax your breathing now, allowing it to return to its natural rhythm, whatever is comfortable for you. As you send your next breath down to your feet, imagine its energy emerging from the soles of your feet as thick roots. Send those roots down into the earth, grounding you, giving you a solid foundation as your body starts to relax. See those roots pass down through the many layers of the earth, through soil, sand and rock until they reach the very core of Mother Earth. Here, you visualize a huge crystal at the center of the Earth. See its color and feel its powerful energy radiating out towards you. Wrap your own energy roots around this huge crystal, anchoring you firmly in place and allowing you to absorb the beautiful energy that it is sending out. Now draw that energy back up your roots and feel a warm pulse as it enters your body via the soles of your feet. Feel that warmth filling your ankles, your calf muscles, easing and soothing any tension as it does so. It flows up and over your knees, thighs and pelvis, radiating a relaxing warmth as it moves, up into your lower back, easing gently up your spine, cleansing and balancing your energy centers as it rises. It soothes and softens your heart as it passes through and relaxes your chest and shoulders which drop and soften under the warm flowing energy. The muscles in your upper arms relax, then your elbows, forearms, wrists and hands all succumb to its soothing warmth. You may even feel a tingling sensation as it reaches to your very fingertips. The muscles in your neck, throat and jaw all soften and relax as the warm energy flows effortlessly through them and it continues up and across your face, forehead and up to the crown of your head. You now feel completely relaxed from head to toe, 
as the warm energy flows through every cell in your body. As you reach a state of full relaxation, you may even feel your crown opening up to the universe, connecting you with all that is. You are now one with the universe, connected to Mother Earth and the Divine at one and the same time. As you sit or lay there now, fully relaxed, you decide to go on a journey. A journey to connect with your spirit animal, the bee. In order to fully merge with this beautiful creature, you decide to follow it through its life cycle so that you can appreciate its many admirable characteristics. So picture your own spirit now, rising from your human body, leaving its confines for just a short time, knowing that you can safely return to it at any point you wish in the upcoming journey. Your spirit remains tied to your body by an ethereal cord which cannot be broken, so you feel safe and secure in temporarily visiting your spirit animal in order to see the world through its eyes, experience the sights, sounds and sensations as it makes its way through the world. In this way you will be able to embrace its many noble qualities and assimilate them with your own in order to move forward in life with confidence and assurance. And so it is that you find yourself as a newly hatched bee larva, emerging from the egg laid in its own individual hexagonal cell within the hive by your mother, the queen bee. The cell was constructed and thoroughly cleaned by the worker bee community and had to be spotless before being chosen by the queen as a suitable place for your birth. Such is the care that she takes with each of her many offspring. The bee family is a complex and close-knit one, and each member has its part to play in the functioning of the whole. You too will eventually have your own individual purpose, but for now you are under the care and protection of your elders, in order that you are given the best start in life. The sense of community instilled in you by the bee spirit makes you a great team player and keen to bring your individual gifts to benefit the greater good of the collective. Whether you are called to take up a leadership role or indeed are content to follow the lead of another, you will prove of great value to those around you, friends, family and work colleagues alike. For the time being, as a newly born larva grub, your job is much simpler, growth. You must nourish your physical self with the right nutritional balance to grow and develop your strength. The elder bees will feed you with honey and pollen to help you become healthy and strong. Bee spirit is here to forewarn you of great changes to come in your life and to inform you that now is the time to gather resources that you will need in the near future. This will create a solid foundation upon which to build your legacy and provide you with sufficient energy to launch yourself into a bright new future. But first you must take time to retreat into your cell and make your plans. Allow others to take some of the day-to-day -day burdens away from you for a time while you conduct this soul-searching process. This period of self-care is essential to your future health and well-being. It is time to get yourself organised and begin the hard work on that dream you've always wanted to accomplish. As you begin to grow and think about expanding your horizons, the worker bees, in fact, will actually seal you into your cell with porous beeswax to encourage your transition into the next stage of your miraculous development. 
Once you have been safely ensconced into your private space, you have the privacy and wherewithal to begin putting your plans into action, away from the prying eyes of predators, those who may not have the best intentions for your highest good. This self-reflection, much enhanced by a meditative practice of looking at your current situation and deciding on what can stay in your life and what needs to be let go of, will lead to a complete transformation of your sense of self. Take a few moments now to connect with Be Spirit in regards to your own life currently. What do you love about your life? What could do with a bit of a change, or indeed a complete overhaul? Who around you could provide support in order to help you achieve the transformation you seek? What could your life look like on the other side of such a radical change to your thoughts, behaviours and actions? Ask Be Spirit any questions you need to in regards to your needs and desires. Open your mind and listen carefully for any answers which may be forthcoming at this time. I'll give you a couple of minutes to communicate with Be Spirit and learn from its ancient wisdom in regards to your complete transformation. Now that you have taken time to connect with Be Spirit, you may find you have more questions than answers. If the changes you seek seem too daunting to contemplate, rest assured that you are able to deal with them one at a time in gradual stages. The bee larva sheds its skin five times as it progresses through its evolutionary stages towards becoming an adult bee. So be aware that the process may take time and involve many checkpoints along the way. Be Spirit grants you diligence and dedication to see your complex plans through to fruition and you should not settle for anything less than what you truly deserve. Before you can emerge as your final actualized self, you need to put protection in place around you to guard against outside influence. A bee larva spins its own cocoon from silk which is then wrapped around its body before metamorphosis can take place. This is a message from Bee Spirit that whilst others can help you in your transformation, ultimately all that you need to change your life can be found inside of you. You are the catalyst of your own destiny and just need to tap into your inner reserves of energy in order to kickstart your dreams. Once you have spun your protective pupa around you, you are able to fully engage your creative mind and begin to transform your whole self. Don't be afraid to dream big. Your current cocoon and cell are starting to feel restrictive and you yearn to spread your wings and fly so blue sky thinking is what you need at this time be thankful for the community around you 
but know that you can travel far beyond the confines of the place you currently find yourself without feeling that you are leaving anybody behind. They will still be here on your return. In fact, your willingness and ability to stretch your sights beyond the horizon may well give those around you the motivation and courage to do the same for themselves. And so your bravery at expanding your ideas will almost certainly benefit those closest to you and in your community. There may be an element of confusion to begin with as you rearrange the circumstances of your daily routine to fit in with your new persona, but know that the committed industriousness granted to you by the spirit of the bee is more than capable of achieving any goal you set yourself. It is true that even once you have completed your transformation, those supposedly in the know will look at you and claim that you are incapable of flying high. But this is because they have no idea of the drive and determination you hold within you to succeed. Be prepared to shock the naysayers into silence as you emerge in your new form and launch yourself into flight as their jaws hit the floor in amazement. Once you have taken off, be ready for a great new adventure as a whole new world opens up before you. You will be drawn towards joyous, colourful people, places and situations as you make a metaphorical beeline towards your ultimate soul's purpose. Seek out the rich rewards to be had in networking with others and get ready for a whistle-stop tour of the brightest and best hotspots to ensure a fertile and productive future. Bee Spirit is here to encourage you to also think of others at this time of abundance and fruitfulness. Carry with you the means to bring life and fulfilment to others as well as yourself. Spread joy and happiness wherever you go and see others bloom and blossom as they share in your success. And so, as you prepare to make your first flight into a whole new life, take another few moments to connect with Bee Spirit in order to benefit from its guidance, foresight and ancient wisdom. This time, expand your inner vision beyond any horizons at which you have previously set your boundaries. Think big, think bold, think bright and colourful. What really gets you buzzing with excitement? What would your dream life, dream location, dream relationship or situation look like? What first step can you take today to begin the process of transformation which will lead to this dream coming true. I'll give you another couple of moments to communicate with Bee Spirit. Use its expansive mindset to reach beyond the confines of your current world. Ask any questions you need to and open your mind to any answers which may be forthcoming at this time. Now that you have taken time to connect with Bee Spirit, you are aware that you have within you the drive, determination and creative skills to bring about massive change in your own life. 
you are also at your very best when collaborating with others and your ability to work with or even lead large groups can benefit not only you but also the community at large. Seize upon the universal abundance which lies all around you. Take the necessary steps to transition out of your existing restrictions and launch yourself energetically towards a new way of being. And so it will soon be time to leave be spirit and return to your human body. Know, however, that you can return at any time if you feel the need for its guidance, wisdom and abundant capabilities. For now, as it glides gracefully from flower to flower, collecting pollen for its community, your spirit lifts gently from it and returns once more to your human form. You take with you all of the industriousness, creativity and transformative abilities associated with Bee Spirit and these qualities will remain with you from this point onwards. As you reconnect with your human body, you feel a surge of energy as it merges with your spirit endowing you with all of the magical qualities it possesses to which you now have access in order to help you move forward and grow in life. And so, start now to bring your conscious awareness back to your own body, taking in the sounds around you in the room. Gently wriggle your fingers and toes, stretching your limbs if necessary as you re-engage with your physical form. Remember that you can call upon the spirit of the bee whenever you feel the need for its guidance and support. And slowly, when you are ready, open your eyes. Thank you for taking this time to connect with your spirit animal. I wish you a pleasant and fulfilling onward journey. Goodbye for now.